Hey everyone, today I thought we'd try something a little bit different. We're going to be firing up the Apple II. This is all of my original equipment. It's appeared in several of my videos. I've had it since I was a kid. Not all the peripherals are connected this time. We got our dual disk drive, the acoustic coupler modem, but I also have my Sony reel-to-reel -reel tape player out. And what I'd like to do is attempt to boot the Apple from the Sony reel-to-reel -reel tape player using the cassette jack in the back of the computer. To demonstrate this, we're going to bootstrap DOS off of tape and then load ADT Pro off of tape. Once that's done, we're going to use ADT Pro to format a brand new floppy disk, demonstrating that this project has been completed. As we fire up the computer, it will immediately check for a disk in the disk drive, but there's no disk to be found. We'll let the monitor warm up for a second. These power on activities are controlled by ROM. Control Apple and Shift will stop the disk drive and drop us to a prompt. I'll fire up my tape recorder. This Sony model TC630D is made around 1974. Give myself some lead because it's a little slow to get the speed. I will be plugging an amplified speaker into the headphone jack just so we can listen to the sound of the data as it loads into the computer. Typing in call space dash 151 will take us into the machine code monitor of an Apple II. I have to specify the from and to memory locations to be read in from the tape, followed by the R which is read in. It will now read from the cassette interface for the header of the program. There is a leading tone or header, so it knows when to start expecting data. This is followed by the sync bit and the payload. Recording for the right levels needed by the Apple II is very easy on a tape recorder like this. And that was an indication of success. The only other outcome would have been error. So now I'm going to type 2003 G to jump to that memory address and hit enter. And that takes us right into ProDOS. We can see the blinky cursor. We're still in the monitor up top. We need to load the program now, which is also on that tape. So I'm going to type in the next one, which is 800.4 alpha. Six, Foxtrot, then R and enter, and repeat the same process, which I have queued up on 67 on the tape. I've skipped ahead on this one. The experience is just the same as loading the one before. Now we'll type 800 go, hit enter, 
And that takes us right into ADT Pro. So the program is now loaded on top of DOS. I cycle through it, make sure nothing is corrupted. Everything looks good in the data transfer. Taking a moment, I also try and adjust my screen, but I realize that these knobs are kind of frozen and iffy. This screen restoration is for another video. I'm just gonna close this for now. What I really wanna do is make my way around to the format option to meet the parameters of this project. So I'm gonna hit enter. And immediately it scans for disks in the drive and obviously both drives right now are empty. IO errors on slot 6.1 and 6.2. So now I'll break out a brand new double sided, double density, five and a quarter floppy disk. And we'll place it into 6.1. Arrow down to 6.1 and then select it. We'll just keep it as default volume name, ready to format. And we won't be formatting another. We come back to the rescan, and we can see our disk on 6.1 labeled as blank. The disk is formatted. We have met our goal. All this accomplished from DOS as well as software, which was loaded onto the Apple II from a reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder. And that concludes this video booting an Apple II off a reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder. I hope you found this video enjoyable, entertaining, and informative. Do me a favor, hit that like button down below. It helps me out a lot when you do. And hit that subscribe button for more videos like this when they come out. When I find another interesting way to boot this Apple II, a link will be posted in the top right corner. If you have an interesting way in which you'd like to see this Apple II booted, such as through this acoustic coupler modem or something, do me a favor and leave a message in the comments below. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Would you like to reply? <laughs>